Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's quick tip video, we're gonna dive into how do you create a custom view on Tableau Server? Uh, so I'm gonna pop over there. I've got a dashboard ready to rock. Um, this is actually a dashboard we built with one of our great clients, Auburn School District. So shout out to, to that team there. Um, it's looking at multilingual students in that district. Uh, we got a lot of filters. So what I wanted to do was apply a few filters um, so I'm going to pick a specific high school. So we'll drill into Oakwood High. And then it'll take a moment there to apply the filter. And let's say we're just diving into ninth graders. And then maybe just students with disabilities. Okay. So now this is going to give me a picture of the demographics of my students, like, uh, you know, what percentage are internationally born or primarily speak another language or are multilingual that meet that criteria. Okay. Uh, now, if this is a view that I frequent, like I often want to look at Oakwood ninth graders uh, that have disabilities, then I can save this as a custom view so I don't have to make those selections every time. Um, so you can actually see that here, kind of at the, the top banner. Um, you can select this, save custom view. So it's going to ask me to name this. So I'll call this uh, Oakwood uh, Ninth Grade SWD. And look at this too. So I can make it my default, meaning that every time I pop into this dashboard, that's the way it's going to filter automatically. And I can even make this available or visible to others. So let's say I don't want to make it my default, but I do want to make it visible to others. Okay. So we'll go ahead and save that change. All right. And so now you can see the view actually has a specific name, right? It says view Oakwood ninth grade, the rest is getting cut off. And if I select this now, I'll see, you know, if there were more views here, then I would see them, right? So let's say I want to do the same thing, but for Horizon High School. Maybe I'm the ninth grade coordinator, right? And, and this is my area of expertise. So what I may want to do now is uh, save another custom view, right? So now I've got this option here. So now this would be my Horizon ninth grade students with disabilities. So, you know, obviously this is just a couple of filters, so this isn't as big of a deal, but you can imagine, you know, if you have, you know, 10 uh, or you know, five or 10 filters, then it becomes a lot more valuable. So now you see, I've just got these views that I can toggle between and they can have, you know, completely their own filter sets and I can make those available to users. And you can coach your users on, hey, make that one your default. You know, you're the principal at Horizon High School, you probably wanna focus on that. So why not just set up your filters so every time you pop into this dashboard, it's filtering to what you care about, okay? So now just let me show you. Let's say we you know, go out of this dashboard and then we jump back in here. So I think by default, it's, it's gonna reset to the default view, which is you know no filters selected, right? Uh, and, but if I hit the view, right now it says view original, select this, and I can just dive right into one of those analyses that I was doing. So I could say Oakwood, ninth grade, SWD, and we're off to the races, all those are applied. Uh, so that would uh, incorporate selections that you've made with filters, uh, parameters, if you've made you know, worksheet selections, um, you know, that's applicable for all of those. So I hope this is helpful, uh, maybe for you, but maybe even more so for your users. So feel free to just email this video to people that you work with and say, hey, this is how you make a custom view so that you can save yourself five clicks every time you jump into this dashboard. So uh, thanks for diving into us with this quick tip video. We drop videos like this every week, so feel free to follow along. Uh, and if you ever need help from us, let us know. We do office hours where you can just book us to work with you for an hour. We host classes every month on Tableau Desktop and Prep and uh, all types of great stuff. So we would love to connect with you. Uh, thanks again and talk to you soon.